a lot more. I'm gonna show you how to make Nanaimo bars. Nanaimo bars are a popular Canadian bar cookie named after the west coast city of Nanaimo, British Columbia. They have three layers, a chocolate cookie crumb base topped with a thick vanilla icing layer and finished with a thin chocolate coating. They are no bake and delicious. Let's get started. After you gather your ingredients, butter an eight by eight inch baking pan, line it with parchment paper, then butter the parchment paper. I added some binder clips to keep the extra paper out of my way. Lightly beat the egg. Next, process your cookies to make fine crumbs. I used chocolate animal crackers. Oreos would not be appropriate for this recipe. You can also do this by hand with a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin. After that, I placed the walnuts in the food processor and pulsed them quickly until they were coarsely chopped. Now melt the butter in a medium saucepan. Once it's melted, remove from the heat, add the sugar, cocoa powder, and salt. Then, while vigorously whisking, very slowly add the beaten egg in a thin stream. This will prevent your egg from scrambling. Return to the heat and cook until the mixture thickens. Remove from the heat again and add the cookie crumbs, coconut, and walnuts, and toss together until evenly coated. Now press the mixture evenly into your prepared baking pan. Place in the refrigerator to chill while you make the next layer. Add the softened butter to your mixing bowl and beat it for a moment until it becomes fluffy. Then add the powdered sugar, and the heavy cream. Followed by the vanilla pudding mix. Once the mixture is light and fluffy, stop beating it. And spread it evenly over the chilled base layer. Then return it to the refrigerator. Okay, we're almost done. Melt together the chocolate and butter in a heat proof bowl, either in the microwave or in a double boiler. If you use the microwave, be sure to only microwave in 20 second intervals and stir between each until it's melted and smooth. Now spread the chocolate mixture in an even layer over the filling layer and chill for 10 minutes, no longer. After 10 minutes, remove from the pan and cut into squares. By chilling for only 10 minutes, the chocolate becomes firm but can be cut into squares without cracking. And after all this work, you want them to look perfect. For best results, drag the knife through the chocolate layer before cutting through the bottom. And here it is. This is a delicious recipe and well worth the effort. I highly recommend it. 
Check out the information in the description box for the ingredients and a link to the original recipe that I modified, as well as a link to the playlist for all of the other summertime recipes in this collab. I really hope you'll give this one a try. If you do, be sure to leave me a comment to let me know how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.